what we have here is a scene, in this scene, is a background image, buttons down the right hand side, and a video area. These buttons work with a touch screen, so when you press one of these clips, the video will change. Elements Motions also has a depth sense plugin. That works with a depth sense camera. What this does is it allows a passerby to wave at the screen and it will track their hand position to a crosshair. I'll give you a demonstration. Just performed a simple wave and now it's tracking my hand to, to the crosshair. Being a depth sense camera, it can detect depth. So as I reach forward, the crosshair color changes. So I can hover over the buttons, and as I reach forward, it will play the clip. Decide you want to play a different clip, you just simply wave again and select the button. The Depth Sense plugin gives you the option of having an animated hand which signals to the passerby that they can take control of the screen. This is completely optional. It is also configurable as to which location it is based on the compass. So it could be north, northeast, or it could be the center. You also can configure text. So we've put a, a line here, wave palm of hand at screen to begin. What our depth sense plugin also does is it detects when you've left the scene. So, so I'll wave at the screen now. As I've got control, notice the animation's disappeared. And I'll walk away. As I left the scene, it detected that and it's performing the animation to the next passerby to say that they can take control. So what we have here in this area is a background image. We have a video. And we've got two buttons set up at the moment. I'm going to add a third button for the gray. You simply drag the Xyrus Interactive Control from your collection onto the layout editor, resize, and right click and go to properties. So you can say which slot the button is allocated to. In this case, the gray is allocated to slot one. You have two modes, an interrupt mode and a cancel mode. The interrupt says that we want to load playlist one. If it was a cancel, that's like a back button so it returns to the default or scheduled content. You can configure what colors on the button. So you've got button color, button hover color, border color, and border hover color. You can select a color here. And on the right hand side, you can select the transparency level. In this case, we want 50% transparency on the button hover. You can also specify text on the button. So we can enter play me. And for your text, you can say what font you want. Yeah. Selection there. The font color, transparency level, and the font size. You can also specify how thick you would like the border to be. Rather than a touch screen, we may want to add depth sense. So to do that, you simply add our depth sense crosshair control. So you, in this case, we want it to be full, full screen, so we'll drag it to the full res of the screen. Right click, properties. Okay, the first option you have is 
the option as to whether the playlist will have a waving animation and it will signal to them that they should wave at the screen. So it's optional whether that that's displayed or not. You can also have a wash over the, the screen to say whether it's active or inactive. You can have some text. Um, so in this case, it says wave palm of hand at screen to begin. Uh, you can leave that blank, so you can delete that if you want. Um, you can also specify at what location on the screen that should be, so you've got top or bottom. You can specify at what location on the screen the waving animation will go. So that's based on compass with the addition of center. You can also specify the size of the hand. So you've got small, medium, or large. And again with the crosshair. This gives you, the user, plenty of choice um, and scope for configuration. OK, so you can save that. And what we'll do now is we'll do a preview. Now the playlist is ready to be sent to Cyrus. <laughs>